Hello everyone, Tracy here from Uniquely Creative. I am going to do a quick layout with um, the Serendipity Collection. Got this photo of my Nana. She was actually a bridesmaid uh, here in this photo. She was about in her early 20s, 21, 22-ish. From memory I've been told, I'm just going to trim my photo down. Got a couple of backgrounds here that I thought might be good for this one. Actually, I think I might use that one. Um, so I've pre-fussy cut some stuff. We went away in the caravan, a, well, it feels like three, four months ago now, but it's probably only two months ago. And I cut them out when we were away, which is always a good thing to do. And now I'm going to make a layout. Start by cutting off my barcode strip. I've got some other fun things that are in this month's kit here, which I um, will just put aside because I think I'm going to use some of the doilies. And I've got the creative cuts I haven't opened yet, so I'm just going to open these up and take a quick look. I've got a container here I might put them in. This is a cute little saying, maybe not for this one of my Nana, but I will use that. There are some cute little bits and pieces in here if you're trying to do a wedding album. This is a perfect collection for that. So I feel like I'm going to just use this flower cluster that's already here as my base and build more layers around it. These are our new um, doilies. There's 50 pieces in here, 25 of the small ones. So that's the second size, four and a half and three and a half. Got some of those. I've also pre-cut out some of the, this is our serendipity bunch and these are the foliage. So I've cut some of those out and um, yeah, let's see what we can do. I think I might matte the photo with just a little bit of white cardstock too. So I might just quickly do that first. I didn't print it with a, a border because so I printed two little page. Okay, so I've got the photo matted. And I'm going to use some of these pieces that I fussy cut out of the pages. That one's beautiful. I might actually use some of the muslin as well. I'm just looking at some of our older dyes. This dye would look pretty beautiful. I actually just might quickly cut this dye out and use it as well. I'm just going to pop out the pieces. Okay, so I like the doors. So we're trying to use a few more of our older dyes uh, this year for you girls so that you know sometimes you collect all these dyes and it's nice to use them in some of the other kits. So we've asked the DT who are working on blog projects to try to use some of the um, older dyes they have which they think might work with one of the kits if you happen to have it just to get more use out of your dyes. I'm just going to use the 450 glue just to glue this down. Move Nana over there. Just... Okay. All right, so I'm going to use the all night doors, I think, there. Start layering some of these pieces in and under. Just adding a another layer of my flowers now. I do love the bird, we'll definitely squeeze the bird in. Okay. 
Okay, so I think I can actually glue down my photo now. Just go peel off my phone melts. Putting some extra 450 on because I never want them to come off. Now I want to add in just some foliage off of the, the dye. So this is the, the bunch dye. So I'm just getting some of the leaves and some of that foliage to put down the bottom. Just to bounce that because I've got some there. This is the foliage one, which I'm just cutting off some of these bottom leaves. Layering them in with the other leaves. I love how this dye can be just turned into so many different sizes and shapes. because I want to layer I'm going to use my this is essentials number two die and I'm going to cut out this little shape off of the cut apart sheet this is the one that just comes on the back of the collection pack I'm just gonna cut out that one and I think I want maybe other beautiful family as well. So I'm just going to cut them out. Now, of course, you can hand cut these out if you don't have the dies. So let me just move that out of the way. Okay, so I've just got some washi. So they will all fall out. Choose some of those. Okay, so I've cut them out. I'm going to use some of these just to slip in. Although I do like family. Forever. I've got some of our cute little metal heart stickers. Oh, I love them so much. I'm just going to pop a couple of them around. Just trying to make sure they're all straight. can't decide which one I like. Happiness was my original title because I was going to fussy cut this one out but then decided that I'd use these ones because it's such a small photo on a small third of the page that I thought this would be too big so let's just go with happiness. There we go so this one is just a cute little simple one um, of my Nana. And I'm going to leave it there, I think, and walk away from the layout. Keep it nice and simple with just a just a small photo. Because sometimes you just only have small photos. I know sometimes you want to do lots of photos, but sometimes you just want to do a small photo. And I hope you um, like the fact that we're trying to introduce using some of our older dyes and our older products in our projects this year for the blog. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to do another layout now, so hopefully you can watch that one in the next couple of days. Bye.